Oh boy, another update video. Doing these more than actual videos these days. Well, let's get it over with. A couple of things first. The voting for what my next Sonic parody would be is over. End results, this. Metal Sonic Episode 1, with Sonic Colors being second, and me making my own decision as third winner. Well, that third one would sabotage the entire voting, so I'll ignore that one. Either way, the Metal Sonic Boom episode has been written down and sent to the voice actors, and I'll get to work on it next month. Would be nice if I can finish it in December. Need way to finish this anniversary year for Sonic. Although, is it really Sonic's anniversary year? It seems all the cool anniversary stuff is coming out next year. Eh, whatever. Also, there was a lot of confusion people had about why Boom Fire Nights wasn't an option to be parodied. Which it was. It was the second of the three main choices, but apparently because I showed footage of my Shadow Crystal spoof in the background, I seem to have miscommunicated that, so... Um, sorry? I didn't have inspiration for it anyway, so... Eh. Um, well, I'll redo Sonic Colors in minutes at some point too, but after the Metal Sonic thing, I probably really need a Sonic break. Anyway, before I work on Sonic Boom, the very next animation that's coming up is IMP. I want to have that story arc done this year. And yes, I'm still drawing and animating IMP myself, and will also probably draw and animate Metal Sonic episode myself. These are a bit too big to start the Patreon collab experiments on. Bring us to the second point of the agenda, Patreon. So there's confusion about Patreon stuff, understandably it's a bit vague, mostly because I'm making it up as I go along, so what's specifically happening now? Funny thing is, while I asked for money to hire artists, the complete opposite happened, got very little money but a lot of artists offering their work for free, well it's getting me the same results so whatever. Currently there's three projects running, my old school friends and me will be doing a Zelda cartoon, we're meeting up next week. And I'm doing a collab with another animator, Motament Cartoons, Motament Cartoons, I don't know how to pronounce it. So for those worrying the animation would be too stiff, this guy's pretty awesome and animates very smooth, so should be a great improvement. We're still brainstorming ideas, but it's probably going to be a Mario cartoon. And third, I'm working with an old friend of mine, Kelly. The most active of the projects already got the first drawings in, and those who watch my viewer respond video can probably guess what this will be. So that's the Patreon so far, right now it's just testing the waters. Anyway, anything else is still drawn and animated by me. What about dissected videos? Yeah, good question. Probably notice I haven't done a lot this year, I haven't been super motivated for a few reasons. So if that's the reason you're following me, <laughs> I'm sorry. With both Kingdom Hearts and Sonic, I'm just waiting for the next big installment before I'm comfortably making big statements again. And I'm not desperately looking for other series to talk about. This series was designed for me to get my overflowing thoughts out, not to deliberately suck out more. Still gotta do the follow-up on the Cartoon Philosophy video, but don't have many thoughts yet. And I'm starting to get my LEGO Dimensions collection going for when the Sonic Level Pack comes out next month. Haha, <laughs> they're making jokes about Sonic Avenger having shitty dialogue and Sonic 06 having a princess. Good one! Uh, I'm sure we'll be getting a nice healthy balance of jokes from all across Sonic's entire history and we're not just going to pile on Avenger and 06 all the time, are we LEGO Dimensions? <laughs> Nintendo Switch! Kinda of funny how my opinion completely switched <laughs> since I saw the trailer. First of all, hey, cool! I prefer handheld gaming over main consoles since I'm a busy guy, so I love this concept, but then I was thinking, well, the reason why I usually prefer Nintendo handhelds over Sony's is because they have this protective design. You snap them closed and they have this comfortable protective shell, so I feel safe shoving them in my pocket where the PSP is all vulnerable and loose things sticking out and the screen out in the open it can crack. So you have to put the thing into a protective case constantly, which is a hassle and doesn't fit in my pocket, and yeah. So now there's the Nintendo Switch being a PSP on steroids, even more breakable loose parts and a giant screen that will be shattered if I just leave it in my bag, so... Get ready to put it to a giant protective case for all your handheld convenience. Hmm. Also, I don't think I have a nice comfortable table at my disposal at places where I usually do my handheld gaming, so... Eh, I don't know. But hey, who cares? It's the games that count. Sure, so, well, here's the list of games I'm buying a PlayStation 4 for next year. If you want me to buy your system, Nintendo, you gotta beat this list, buddy. Good luck. Looking forward to your game reveal trailer. Well, that's enough yapping from me. Back to work. See ya.